Good afternoon. This is Pastor G with Basically Biblical. If you were able to tune in to the introduction episode, you have a pretty good idea of what we are to discuss. The premise of Basically Bible is to bring information about scriptural matters, matters of the Bible, concerns of everyday people as it relates to biblical conversation and scriptural definitions, scriptural ideas, and how do we as just everyday people apply scriptures and our understanding of what God expects from us in our everyday lives. So you might have asked, why start with the question of, is there a God? Or who is God? And if there is a God, where is he? And before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's first start with a prayer. Most gracious and heavenly Father, we ask that you and your Holy Spirit be present in us and act through us as we attempt to understand ourselves and our world with a biblical concept. Thank you, and we accept and acknowledge your presence and your indwelling. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Is there a God? Probably this has been the question for centuries. And so I want to begin by appealing to your sense of logic. <clears throat> Let's imagine with the premise that many suggest that there is no God. If there is no God, then we have a lot of questions. Where did we come from? How did we get here? Who created the stuff, you know, all those chemicals and the atmosphere and all of the stuff that combines to make up who we are as a person, our skin, our teeth, our muscles, uh, the oxygen, the air we breathe, the water. Uh, wh where did all of this come from? Now, of course, many people say that it just spontaneously appeared out of nowhere. And there are some that say, oh, well, everything just was there. And then through the primordial ooze that came from the ocean, the slug-like fish came up onto land. And then the uh, eventually animals and humans evolved from the fish and something that came out of the water. Then there are others who say, oh, Humans 
evolve from apes or chimpanzee-like uh, animals. And through centuries and centuries and centuries, this is where we all came from. Now, obviously, it's hard to discuss if there is a God without discussing or at least looking into, to some degree, uh, the idea of creation versus evolution. So hopefully we won't get too tied uh, into uh, the evolution creation debate. But first let us begin with this idea so that we can move forward into whether there is a God. So going back to this appeal to your logic, I would ask you to think about all of the all of the activities, all of the processes that would have to go exactly right in this spontaneous eruption that people have described into developing the earth and therefore humans. The question then is, how is it possible that through these supposed, these suggested many, many years of development of both the earth and humans that one part was created out of nothing spontaneously by some collision or big bang theory of all of these energies and chemicals coming together and manifesting into what we see before us. So that would mean that all of the atoms and energy and chemicals would have to have slapped themselves together and poof, there was a tree. Or slap themselves together and poof, there was an orange and all of these things would come together and clash together and poof there was an island and oh by the way poof there was the sun and poof there was the moon and poof there were the other planets oh and don't forget that the atmosphere would also have to go poof and it would be perfect. The perfect environment for all of those other poofs to have occurred. Now, I'm not trying to make light of those theories. I just really don't have, um, I, I, I don't really want to um, try to mince out all of the chemicals that would be involved and all of the the fission and the uh, the energies that would have to take place and of course all of that would take place over they say many millions of years so I'm trying to just boil it down into uh, this understanding that all of these things had to have just generated out of nowhere with no order, no conceived plan, just slapped together, poof, and there it all was. And then conversely, even though this slapping together, this poofing occurred, um, it took many millions of years, nevertheless, just kind of odd because if it could poof and all just be there, 
why wouldn't it just poof and all be there? Why did it then take many millions of years to accomplish what we see before us and even ourselves? If, for example, evolution were the correct perception of how we all became, then which came first? Did the heart develop first or the brain? And if the brain developed first, where did it get its energy from? Like air and blood and the circulation to feed it and so forth. Or if the heart came first, then how did it exist without the manifestation of the lungs to provide the oxygen for it to operate correctly? And if none of that was there, then how did this being, this fish, chimpanzee person, thing, animal, even see? If presuming if there was evolution, would the eyes have already been there before the brain or the heart? And if they had no eyes, were they just groping around on the ground? Or was it that they just used ears? And if the ears were there, could the ears function without a brain? Or the blood vessels and the blood and pro the processing of air? Or did it just poof and everything was there? So thinking about that, let's then think about if there was not this poofing, <laughs> but there was a plan, development, creation, process coming together of all of the energies and all of the chemicals and all of the little tiny little nuances that make each of us so unique and our bodies operate so efficiently while existing in an atmosphere that was perfectly put together so that life could exist. Now, thinking of that, mathematically speaking, the potential for all of that to happen with the precision that we see, the statistical calculations would be of a magnitude that we can't even imagine. They talk about picoseconds, which are like Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of a second that many of these functions would have to have come together and manifested in. And, of course, it would have to have happened with all of the right ingredients in that moment. 